me. Like when he gets going, he's definitely in that bracket, and so is Kellogg's as well. And even at this point, S and B are going to go pushing forward, looking to try and find those opening jewels. It's only going to be a trap. Clear in the backside. Four crosses over. Good dash in there from Kellogg's, who manages to connect the shot to Brave. That's the side opened left. up for a plant and super massive. Not going to have a great chance of fighting left. back. They've at least taken down Nukie, but the spike does get planted. Time now a big Last constraint on them, candy. and Bora is so low that just one bullet is needed to take him down. Completely overrunning it and getting the plant down here and now, but Tom, we say it many times. A couple of weapons dropped here is the ideal scenario for the Turkish squad. They've already got... Whoa! Oh. Yeah, they've got two! <laughs> <laughs> This, this is one of those moments where Kellogg's is just showing they're all there. They're on there and he's like, all Bloody really? Vision. All there? No, all there. Everyone. <laughs> trying to push back in. Oh. oh. This is starting to get scary. Already three kills. This is a successful round, but it comes down to just one. Avova's the only man remaining. They're already on the defuse. He needs to wipe out everybody. He's not going to be. It's just going to be used to delay. Try and slow them down, Nuki, though. Any risks there, Tom? <laughs> No risks involved in that jump up with the, the boom butt. They have got a number advantage here for G2 as they push out onto the site. Good dash by Kellogg's. He's already in the tube. And it'll be called a mentor to take the kill in the corner. Izzy gets caught, detected, no. and taken down. And, well, Tom, it's not even four spies back and forth. It's the eco rounds. Bull Sheriff. <laughs> this is stupid. I, I, I'm at a loss for words, but I guess this is yin and yang. Supermassive, get the Rico, and then G2 just answer back. Thing is, odd. Oh. And there you go. Is he trying to catch an angle above the wall, but it doesn't quite work out. Pora, quick to connect with a Sheriff in hand. And I feel like, once again, they're under threat, especially with Izzy connecting on the mix wall. The spike is, is pretty much stuck. What a shot. This is exactly what Nuki does, and luckily he's got Kellogg's alongside him. This was looking like a done deal, but now a possibility for the remaining couple of players of over. With a little bit of utility remaining to try and slow them down, and with Brave coming in from behind, Nuki should almost definitely be dead. No real chance to survive that angle, and now it's left all onto the Spectre. It seems like there's little to no hope, and actually upgrading slightly at least. It gives him the first duel. Second for us, though, is not going to happen. And super uh, can go straight through. Oh, it's a little bit awkward. Russ. They're already going to be catching out one. Turco has found another as well. We're going to see the Seekers spotting out where Nuki is. I thought for a second he would actually destroy that for the team. They decided to be a little bit more focused on actually taking on the round again. And awkward spot. And Izzy. Well, you wanted to see that operator. There it will. They can push through after the nade. Oh, Kellogg's out on long. He gets traded, though. Here we go. Evolva starting to up the pace a little bit. Deep Dave goes down. Izzy forced onto the site with 10 HP. Will be sideswiped by Mixwell. And now this gets dangerous. Russ tries to buy a little bit more space, but it won't happen this time around. And Killjoy's ulti being spammed on to... This is going to be a really tough battle for him. They're coming through the smoke, though, and that gives him the perfect opportunity. Runs out of ammo, tries to upgrade, but not quite in time. Still, that has bought them enough time to get Russ into position. Now tucked in the corner of the site, okay. but Nuki is clearing it and looking for a little bit more. Creeping up towards the spawn wall. This is a tough retake now. Supermassive Blaze needs someone to find that angle, and Pora is completely undetected. Great shot onto Cold Dementa. Mixwell spotted in the corner is taken down quickly, and now it's all on to Nuke. A big clutch needed to keep them alive in this round. Spike down in the open. He can't quite reach it. There we go. But he needs to get it planted, and they're on two different angles. He now knows exactly where both players are. This could be pretty powerful. He can find one of these kills. Oh, but they know he's not planting. He's going to run this clock all the way down. Eight seconds remaining. He fakes the plant, and here comes the swing. He, when this fades, there's going to be a multitude of players on the other side. Maybe trying to fake them out with his current positioning. In fact, oh, I thought for a second he was going to get both. It looked like he should have done easy waiting to the last possible second to find. This is going to be a very slow. Oh, well. <laughs> <clears throat> suboptimal to say the least they lost their seekers in those early fights as well blade storm's gone like you're not going to show stopper in this situation 
Good Player kill. Standing. Spike picked up. Spike deciding instead to go in through spawn. Much more aggressive stance to go in for these fights and a nice headshot. Ooh. Followed by a second. He's running into heaven. And okay, he won't land that shot. Nuke a little bit too quick and taking the kill. And a nice nade to deal even more damage. This is a fantastic start for G2, but they have to hold on. They might not know about Pora's flank. He's done this so often. But surely they're going to check it. And that they do. With Avova trading out his teammate and Turco falling. This is pretty much done and dusted. Russ is running for the hills. That we've seen from them again and again. Oh yeah, they've, they've almost used Showstopper as well as an ability to take control of that. Like, not, no one's going to push back into a Showstopper. That, that almost becomes the secondary point. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and he's that's just been so owned. dirty. <laughs> the combo of the Boombot alongside the Operator and Izzy is just completely outplayed his opponent. The turret's going to make things all the more irritating. That spot is so dirty. Like, it shoots over the top of the screen. Gives them the information and then also snaps back to spot anybody going out. I feel like they've no. intentionally put this in play and that was just a random shot to walk. So I, I think that that will be a, a true showing of what Turkish Jets have to offer. That was an audacious attempt from Cold Amenta. <laughs> Straight through. I don't know if he tried to run back the other way and was just so blind he got caught. But that has gone very badly wrong and ends up with... Oh, it looks like a very easy round for Supermassive Blaze. Oh, oh, Nukia, look at him go. Oh, he's full blind and he's still killing people, popping heads on. Lots of stars going down. The B-Site gets overrun. Izzy trying to get up close, but Cold Demanta prevents it. The site still under threat as the wall breaks, but a good shot by Durko. And Russ follows up with more. The Sheriff of Aura. Leaves just Kellogg's and Nukia alone. Now, Kellogg's has managed to get very early on towards hookah but they know he's here and it has to be Last player standing well, yeah when nuke you're falling this is very unfortunate because getting out's going to be tough and that's why spray down <laughs> weapons upgraded super massive blaze are 11 to 4 in the lead to at least the ability to catch off the last player in but now the rest of the team scrambles to aid the b site and it's only nuke you to find it the sheriff in hand Sprayed out from every direction, naded, pushed, <gasps> and himself and Mixwell both find kills. The ultimate pop, but it gets nothing. I'm scared that that round goes to G2, but instead it's 12 4. And Super Massive Blaze are making a statement here. G2's map. He did a damn good job. Like when EU stole them away. 12 4. This could be the, the final round of G2's map pick. Ampora has even opened it up onto Cold Dementa. The teleport play caught red-handed. An ultimate pop by Supermassive Blaze. Mixwell has actually managed to avoid being caught by that Seeker. He gets in, sneakily destroys the ult, and he's out. Oh, here comes the Showstopper, <laughs> hunting him down inside the Viper's Pit. Rusts onto a Volva, and this surely is 13-4 for Supermassive Blaze. They even have the res. Insult to injury for G2. Who now have a two versus five. All the efforts put in by Mixwell and the others are gone. And Tom, I'm, I'm not feeling too hopeful about this one. Nuke has to push out through a smoke. And just like that, it is three players, soon to be four, grouping up there. An ambitious pistol for G2, but Cold Dementa picks up the first. Now they have a little bit of access, but look over towards main. This is always the troublesome position. And with Pora tucked in there, it could get very scary indeed. Russ, Russ kind of postured there. You know, he went for that fight in the alleyway that you normally wouldn't go for if you had a teammate inside of main. Yeah. There's only one player watching for it. That alarm bot should give it away. Pora standing still and avoiding it eventually. Steps to the side and a headshot connected. Leaves Mixwell low. Russ takes advantage of that and Cold Dementa. Second by G2, but the important thing is they've got the site and the plans and with the weapons they have in play this is the ideal scenario keep it nice and close range take the fights on your own terms g2 need to find a way in and i think it's going to be around some of the soviet out. utility the recon in particular when you've got that odin in play it can be so strong and here it goes Stashing in, he's made some space, he's become the focus, but even still, the trades are actually coming in thick and fast. Taco ends oh. up with three kills on the Spectre. And it's R and D, but Supermassive Blazer 3 0 off from the start is fantastic. I'm hoping they start to get a few buy runs on the board as well. If they can do it in this round, all good for them. At least being able to find a kill or two here and there. Rush actually goes in for the solo peak, so that's going to be a weapon at least traded over, an angle held 
by Nuki as well. Needs to try and get something done here. If they're looking to save the rifle. And Nuke having a sheriff in his hands. I mean, why not? Paranoid. Oh, no, they're both swinging. The train found by a bomb, oh! and he almost gets the ball. But Turco. Fast take of this B side. Maybe negate all of it, but Kellogg's is there ready and waiting. A little bit of trouble here for, whoop, for you will Russ. I was taking his teammate down, doing a gambit on that. Again, he'll have to go for the same. Mark, I think he actually got the tank. Spike planted. Yeah, it looked like it up above, but it's long since gone. 12 seconds until recon again. When you've got that Odin in play and an A site retake, you want that recon. Five seconds. I don't want to see a peak right now. Save the There we go. Perfect. Gonna go for the lockdown. Recon's coming over. Spam can come through and catch them as they go back on out before his push. Oh. Right on up into their faces. That's gonna be the lockdown destroyed. And now it's only Goldamenta. His head taken clean. They've got three or at least two very strong ultimates online. They've got everything they could desire in terms of weaponry. If they don't win this round, yeah, you might as well just look at the other way. Mixwell, well, when they need a hero, he's the one to step up, but the trades come back so fast. They've already found two kills back. Hold a mentor. We'll give them the advantage once more. But Turco is just turning things on his head again. An afterplant for Supermassive Blaze. And what was looking... Anyone on top of the wall. A dash in from Kellogg's. That's going to be very slow to trade back. And indeed, Evolva comes around the corner. They're staring right at him. And then they immediately eliminate Kellogg's. Uh, I think that was Mixwell again. He is he is magnetized for those lockdowns. Good pick. He looks up above to see the recon. Good shot by Kellogg's. But now he's got players all around him to worry about. And the first connection isn't quite there on short. They're closing in the distance and looking to take him down. But with the dash online, he's quickly out of there. Not quite finishing off the round, but surely... Bora doesn't get away with this one. Oh, okay. I don't think he has time. So he's just going to try and bait them in and do as much damage as humanly possible. And the second Mixor realizes he's going to at least hold them back for the second. Uh, a smoke going down, but he actually runs into it. And Pora always in the right place at the right time. We're going to see the attempted rotation into the boathouse, but Pora has already found himself another one. It leaves a lot of the pressure on Cold Amenta, but he's at least picked off one. But now stuck and isolated on the back of the side, even slowed into the corner. And Brave quickly deals with him. The shot to Nukia makes it even more bleak. There is a wall there. Kellogg's can potentially updraft on top of it, but it would give away his position. It might be more Spike worthwhile planted. just sneaking on through. But with so many players up against him, it seems very unlikely. He does avoid the recon. Nukia plays in the... The default has just been so good. You've had players, well, like Bora, who've been able to catch that aggression. This time he goes down. But in hurt on mid. Good position by Mixwell. Nearly whiffs it out there in the end. Great second One shot. Remains. And now Izzy's trapped oh. in the corner. There it is. It was the exception. And now we're seeing the space looking to be Five taken down. again. They shut down. The initial aggression of Supermassive Blaze Nuki looks like he's come online for this round as he looks to shut it down. Three kills as it leaves just one man standing. It is going to be... What was that shot? Maybe bullets do curve. <laughs> he's dashing away and still hitting it. Oh, well, we've got Kellogg's living in an action movie. Cold Amenta is being pushed down. Able to find himself one. Kellogg's in with another, and this is looking fantastic. Only as he remains. He's still doing damage, though. The final player up close. Oh. All he needed was the headshot, but it won't. He's already going to be here. Poor again. He's been the thorn in their side. The one player that they didn't actually pick up from the Heretics roster. It seems to be the one that maybe they're missing. Because again, they're just looking to be shut down again. Look at the bait. Brave is Look at slow them down. Is he screwed here? They, they wanted to at least get a kill there and try and get out. Instead, though, poor again. It just seems so tough for them to break him down. He's been unreal in this map. Oh, well, we're going to see the lockdown put into play. Is he just going to stick around? He's going to go to the back of the site. They'll know he's here. They've got a recon to play with. They've got a drone as well. Shock dart onto him. He has to move out of here now. He's going to be caught in the way. No trade possible. That's unfortunate, but Supermassive Play is now having to go in for the retake. Three versus two. Recon Lance not revealing anyone just yet. And the turret spots out Turco above a Bova biting his time for the peak, but his leg was spotted. Turco's quick to react. A player below and one behind the server. No information here. 
for super massive blaze on this retake. That's where the drone comes in. Gonna try to spot them out the headshot, but it's through the wall. Cold Dementa barely survives, and yeah. they know there's a player below from the spray. This could be absolutely massive for the Blazers. Let's see what they can do. Turco, good headshot, and Russ is in with more. A devastating blow to G2 as Super Ma Here. You can see the paranoia thrown through. Turco again coming under pressure. Multiple angles, but he hits the headshot anyway. I don't even see the head of the player, but he still manages to find newly formed Turkish super team are just one round away from making it to Berlin. And what well, if CNET hasn't already? Not quite going to connect. Forced in for the reload. This could be just a full retake, especially with that lockdown online. Clear them out the back of the side. Cold Dementors fighting for it, trying to deny it, and he's doing a decent job of it as well. But the lockdown's still in play. They might actually get detained, and it's dead, is he? It's just gone huge. It's gonna get stuck in the mud. It's left all onto Kellogg's to try and fight this back in the 1v2 for survival.